Okay, now we're bumping up the power on this a little bit. Have uh, Let's see how many volts we have here. So now I have everything connected. I'm in series this way and in parallel, this direction like this. So I have 3.9 volts there. 3.8 volts on that one. 3.7 there. And 3.7 there. And here's my wires connecting them across in parallel. They really need to be connected wire. They're just through the water, so that's not really going to help me much at all. But this is just to see. And then let's take a look at the little current meter. Move this over here so you can see it a little bit better. Let's see. I mean, this current meter just barely moves. Maybe you can see, you'll see. I'll take it off of this last leg. Let's see. Hmm, probably not enough for you to see. So what we'll do, we'll use the LED. So I have a three volt LED here. And I'll, I'll point it directly at you so you can see it. And it's barely bright enough to see, but let me see, I'm going to look through the lens at the same time and just, there you go. You can see it powering up. It's significantly brighter than it was, you can barely see from the side, but it's a lot brighter than it was when I was only running the first test in series. But uh, I don't know if the temperature of the water makes any difference on this. This is pretty cold water still because they just brought it in from the snow and this has a little bit of runoff from the roof as well but that ought to be nice and polluted too from the roof tiles right or the roof material and uh, we'll, we'll keep testing you know my goal was to make a four and a half volt design and use one of those new uh, yellow square LED things I don't know how much current they draw I'm going to tear apart another uh, flashlight here in a bit and see hopefully they don't draw as much current as this little light does here but uh yeah so that's acid rain battery power there you go all right see you next